Good morning. Gonna start story time here today. Thanks for joining. Hi. Okay, we're gonna start <clears throat> story time. And today I'm gonna read uh, Jesse, the first book in the Jesse series. Um, last week, had a little, a few little issues with the live reading. We had somebody over here um, installing a new uh, water purification system. And I just want to share a couple things about it. I'm not um, selling it by any means, but um, just from a pet owner's perspective, um, a couple of things. We had a lot of chlorine in our water. And city water, of course, and I know it has to be that way to keep it, you know, clean um, <clears throat> to their standards. But um, a couple of things that I've noticed over the last week with regard to the dogs um, about the water, the soft water and the reverse osmosis, the alkaline water, is um, it's such a difference with a couple of things. Um, they eat twice a day with, and I feed them with metal bowls. And I was finding that with my other water, the metal bowls, and they lick them clean, trust me, there's nothing left after they're done eating. But it was really hard for me to get that slimy feel off the metal, um, the metal bowls with just Dawn, I use Dawn all the time, Dawn soap and water. But with this water, it seems like the slime is gone. I, I mean, it's there's so much easier to clean. No matter how hot I got that water, I couldn't do it with the old system. Anyway, um, so things are cleaner. The other thing I noticed, funny story about Jesse last night. Um, you know, I work full time, so I'm gone most of the day. So when I'm here, she is like on me. She follows me from room to room. She's right here next to me right now. So, um, we were sitting down, watching TV, whatever, and sometimes she cries for, and it's only for two reasons. It's if she has to go to the bathroom or if she wants water and she doesn't feel like getting her little lazy butt up and walking across the room. So, true. So she was crying last night. So she'd already gone to the bathroom, so I knew that wasn't it. So she got up, walked across the room to go get a drink of water, and the bowl was empty. So, um, normally she'd walk away and go get water in the other bowl, which is in the bathroom, but she, she walked over to the sink where the reverse osmosis system is. She didn't even try to lift the bowl. The bowl was dry. She walked over, stood in front of the sink. True story. I swear she's human sometimes stood at the sink looked back at me, looked at the sink, like, come on, give me some of that good water again. It was hilarious. I literally, we were laughing out loud. Anyway, the dogs love it. If you want to know more, message me because I'm not, again, I'm not selling the product. I'm here to self-promote Saturday myself. I'm here to sell my books and promote me, but I just kind of wanted to tell you about the water because I did, I almost didn't read last week. Um, it was a struggle <laughs> having someone here working and the dog barking and yeah, if you were here, you remember, it was pretty funny. Anyway, <clears throat> book one, where it all started, um, Jesse's adoption story. And I'm so happy to announce that air is getting cleaner and clearer around here. I actually have the doors, um, we have screens on, we have the doors open and letting fresh air in. So I turned off the fan, which is kind of um, a little bit of a distraction while I'm reading sometimes. But um, we're so happy to finally be able to go outdoors. Anyway, Jesse. Hi, I'm Jesse. I'm a pit bull. I know, I know. Pit bulls are mean. Ha, huh, yeah, right. Well, I'm here to say, you can't believe everything you hear. 
enough of that, more about me. I must admit, I might be a little funny looking at first glance, but everyone thinks I am gorgeous. At least those that matter. And I happen to agree. My hair is soft and shiny and kind of short. Definitely easy to manage. Can you imagine what those long hairs go through just to wash their hair? I'm also missing one of my front teeth. Puppy playtime, not sad. I'm mostly black with a thin white stripe between my eyes. It's a little crooked. Just one of my beauty marks. And I have a splash of white around my nose that curls down my chin and makes a cute little shape on my chest. My whiskers? Now they are funny. On one side of my face, they're white. On the other side, black. I guess I'm lucky they're not green. Now my best feature is my ears. They're what makes me unique. One always stands straight up, the other always flops down. Don't you think that is just the most precious thing? And I love to have my face petted. Well, back to my story. I wasn't always the light of mom's eyes. I used to live in a house where everything wasn't so nice. It was okay at first. I would play and jump on the couch and run around the kitchen. That's where the tooth incident happened. But as I began to grow, my people put a thick collar on me and tied me to a tree in the backyard, even in the rain. Poor Jesse. I tried to get their attention using my ears, you know, that floppy and straight thing, and I would howl, but nothing seemed to work. It seemed like nobody wanted me anymore. I just sort of gave up. They never came out to play. They would never pet me. One night when it was raining, I pulled at my lead, trying to get on the porch. It was wet. I pulled and twisted and slipped and slithered. All of a sudden, I couldn't feel the collar anymore. I was free. Sound effects. <laughs> I gotta check out the noise coming from the front. I scratched at the door, but no one answered. It was dark and cold. I looked around and ran along the fence. I found a loose board and pushed it with my nose. The board moved. I pushed a little more and the board fell off. Wow. What's gonna happen to Jessie? It's her time to make a move. I wondered what was on the other side. I squeezed through the hole and all of a sudden, I was on the other side. I could run and run and run. Go, Jessie, go. When I stopped running, I was in a strange place. It wasn't a backyard. In fact, it wasn't a yard at all. There were no fences, no collars, no people. It was huge with rows and rows of vines 
growing on big stumps with clusters hanging down. That was kind of scary. Being in the vine yard wasn't so bad. Early in the morning, people would walk through the vines looking at the purple things. You know, those clusters? I tried eating them, but they were very sour. Anyway, I knew I had to hide, but I was getting really, really hungry. There was water in the ditches, but the only thing I could find to eat was what the peoples had dropped. Not much. It seemed like I was always hungry. Jessie's chewing on the quilt right now. I'm going to get it out of her mouth. I will be right back. Jessie, you can't do that. You can't chew that. You can't chew while I'm reading. Okay. Sorry about that. Still hungry, I see. She's chewing on stuff still. One day, there was this person who kept calling me. Here, boy. Here, boy. Can't you tell I'm a girl? Just look at me. Do I look like a boy? Anyway, he held out some food. It smelled like a chicken sandwich. Oh, did my mouth start to water. As I was eating the sandwich, he started to pet me. I didn't know how much I missed getting petted. I couldn't get enough. It felt so good. Good girl, Jessie, for stopping. The man took me to a place called a shelter. There were lots of dogs there. Big dogs, little dogs, old dogs and puppies. Even some pit bulls like me. The peoples gave me a bath. A girl needs her beauty treatment and some water and treats. I like treats. They even petted my face. After a couple of days at the shelter, a family walked between the cages. I don't want a puppy, I heard the lady say. Then they looked at me. We stared at each other. Something clicked. I knew these were my peoples. I had to have them. I wagged my tail. I smiled. I jumped up and down. I tried to squeeze through the cage to get to them. Everyone in the family petted me. It felt so good. She looks like a pit bull, Mom, the girl said, but it says lab mix on the card. She knows I'm a pit bull, and she could tell I'm a girl. Beautiful and smart. You know your dogs, the shelter person said. She is a pit bull. But she's so cute, the girl said. Look at her eyes. They sparkle. I put on my bestest smile. Aren't you a sweetie, Mom said. See how I called her Mom? There are a lot of them around, especially in the shelters, the helper person said. Christina, I think her name was. I know, it's sad, hi, huh, Jessie? All the dogs in the shelter. Pit bulls are normally very sweet and affectionate, just like any dog that is loved and cared for. Then they left. I thought I was going home, but they left. Now what was I going to do? I knew I would be stuck at the shelter forever.
Later that afternoon, there was a big commotion in the hallway. My family was back, and they had brought all of their other dogs to meet me, just to make sure. I get along with everyone, so of course, they loved me. Home I went with mom, girl, and three other dogs. What a family. They are so lucky they found me. Really, I'm the lucky one. They took me to school where I learned to sit and stay and lie down. And I can shake hands. Well, pause. Mom takes me for walks every day. I even get to sleep with her on her big, soft bed. Sure beats being tied to a tree, you think? I love being next to her. That's where she is right now, right next to me. She tells me how pretty I am. She gives me treats and... She tells me I'm a good girl. What more could a girl ask for? And you know what? She pets me. I love having my face petted. True, she does. All right, book one, Jessie, where it all started. Jessie's adoption story, I also have and I will read this one next week, Jesse's Indigestible Incident, about a one of the surgeries Jesse had, and Gotcha, which is her Italian adventure for her Gotcha Day. All three books are available on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and through my website, www.jessethepitnips.com. And everything's on sale on my website right now. Besides that, I can autograph the books for you before I send them out. Um, I have everything in stock right now, even shirts. I have All You Need Is Love and a Shelter Dog. I have these on the website. Um, I also have a couple more styles. Here's another one. Adopt Dogs. I have this out because I have an ordering feeling right now. Somebody ordered some stuff. So let me get on the other side um, and I will um, show you Jesse and then sign off. Thank you so much for joining me today for Jesse. All right, Tucker and Jesse are right here. Here you are. Hi. Hi there. Hi there. Hi. Say hi, Jess. All right. Tucker. Tucker's walking away. Hey, Tuck. Good boy. All right. Thank you so much for joining us today. Have a great day. Bye.